Every spring, thousands and thousands of whales make their way up the coast of California for their annual spring migration. From the impressive humpback whale to the stealthy and smart orcas, there are so many opportunities to spot these magnificent creatures during the months of April and May. In this video, we are taking a whale watching tour out of Monterey Bay, California, which is considered the best place to spot whales in the state. Follow along as we head out into the bay and bear the extreme wind and cold. Will we actually get to see these whales for ourselves or will all of our waiting be for nothing? Also worth it? Uh. Today we are in downtown Monterey at the- Fisherman's where, Wharf, right? Yeah, old Fisherman's Wharf. And today we are going on a whale watching tour out of this area. And from what I understand, this is like the migratory or one of the migratory times for whales because um, they're going from, from south like, up north. Cabo area. I yeah, think. they're going from like Mexico yeah. up, I guess, towards like Alaska, Canada area. Yeah. So there's a lot of whales going by. Now we saw a whale a few days ago when we were driving on the PCH. So hopefully we can see some more today. And apparently this is the only time of year when you could possibly see killer whales. Right, right? there's only a two month period. Well, I mean, I guess you can see them any time, but when they're like, when there's a real chance. Now they say for the killer whales, they like to go to a different area further out. So they recommend the all day for that, which we're not doing. So the chances are less for us, but there is still a chance. So yeah, I was like, I'm sorry, but I can't go on an all day Boat like tour. whale watching right. tour just for a chance. So hopefully we see some whales today. <laughs> Matthew's in a blanket. <laughs> Matt doesn't own warm clothes. Right. And apparently it's like what they say, 15, 20 degrees colder. Well, out you of know, the water. I, I will say, like when you come to California, you don't think you need to bring like winter clothes. You really don't. I had to buy this sweater from Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the blanket from my couch. <laughs> Every time you go somewhere cold though, we always get you jackets. You always had to buy one. Like just keep one or two. It looks so ridiculous. So we just checked in and we bought some motion sickness medicine because they had a thing on there. It was it's take a pill weather. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? Kind of weather. Yeah. So I'm gonna take That's a pill. Be good. She said we should take it now because it takes like 20 minutes to kick again. Right. I feel like it won't be as bad in the beginning, especially when we're like moving. But once we like get stopped and then the boat's Oh yeah, just and it's like, just, that's when it is always bad, when you're is. just feeling every yeah. wave. Okay. All right, She's Matthew like, had to go to the bathroom already. All right. <laughs> He's mentally preparing himself. All <laughs> right. Okay, ready, Freddy? Yeah. One, for you. Hi guys, what's us for you. Good to go. Do you have your email conversation? Good to go. We're moving now. In the water next to them is a bunch of sea lions. They're sticking their fin out of the water as a form of thermal regulation. Helps them keep warm. Yeah. Right. I'm hoping, like truthfully, the whale that we saw the other day, I don't think I could see that distance here. Yeah. It's crazy. Maybe they do. Yeah. No, that's a map. Oh. Like a fish finder. They probably they probably do have something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely probably do. Oh, so I wonder if they're like making them know where the whales are and they like. That's cool. Well, see, I don't think it works. Captains probably communicate with each other. Yeah. Like when they see them. Yeah. Not only that, everybody called me stupid. Yeah, I know. Even all these strangers. You'd be better. Like, look at this dumb guy with a blanket. You look like a marshmallow. Now they wish they were a Maybe just like a Right. I don't own a nice coat and hat. We've, we've literally bought you one before. You just don't bring it. Circling around going slower, so I think that there's reports that there's some whales in this area. And we're also 
keep our eyes peeled in case we see one. Yeah, and it's still pretty foggy, but she said yesterday the fog burned off around 10, 10.30, yeah, so. so. Hopefully the fog will start to dissipate a little bit. Yeah. And then we can see a little better. Yeah, we're just kind of going slow, like circling around this area. I'm not missing. Huh? I'm not missing. There's, there's Hermit. <laughs> okay, we think they see something. Huh? So, oh, yeah. We didn't spot a whale, we spotted a deflated balloon. I thought it was a crab bot. <laughs> I thought it was a crab bot. I thought it looked weird. It was like yeah. weird colors on it. I am here to pick the trash, I'm here to see a whale. Okay, we just saw a whale. Alrighty, everybody. Those of you with shy eyes may have noticed a whale just went down in front of us. Because we're on our 11 or 12 o'clock, so directly in front of the boat. We're going to see where it pops up and then reorient a little bit. When I caught a glimpse of it, it was arching its back, so it probably took a little bit of a dive. But I could tell from my short glimpse that we are in the midst of a humpback whale. They're one of our favorite species to see. They're very charismatic, very acrobatic when they want to be. They've come here from warmer waters to feed. So this whale isn't necessarily on a traveling migration. This is their destination. Their dives don't last too long, so we're going to see where it comes up, and then I'll tell you guys what side of the boat is best. If you see it before I do, you win. There you go. Let me know where it is. There are some sea lions in the water. Do not be fooled. They are not whales. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 4 o'clock, kind of where those sea lions were. Just saw one dive. I'm not sure if it's our same whale, but it is a whale, so we're happy about it. And we're heading off there it is again, surfacing. Nice yeah. More at three o'clock now as our captain navigates the vessel. It looks like it might stay on our right hand side, but don't take my word for it. Hold on as we reorient ourselves. Oh, there it is. Yep. Whoa. Oh, no, there's like whales in this area. Oh, probably more, yeah. The underside of those whale tails is usually black and white or all black in color, but each one is as unique as a fingerprint. You will never see two that are the same oh, shape, wow. size, and color. anymore I lied they're, they're, they're numb maybe you should wear these extra gloves my hands are starting to get sweaty okay so we're rushing we just finished a little snack and like a uh, relax session and they announced that there's killer whales up here which is very rare to see so we're gonna go run really quick and check it out you getting all set up Half asleep while I was napping. Yeah, Chen was like full out. Right. And then they're like killer whales, and she's like, whoa! <laughs> they had some instant ramen. There's like a whole. Said, killer whales. Um, look, look, look at all the ships. Right, it's like everybody called each other. It was a top predator that would control this canyon. We're gonna reorient. There they go. Fantastic. There's that male. Uh, wow. Impressive dorsal fin. They travel in tight family groups called pods. There's that male, so oh, beautiful. Man. Look at that. That is so cool. Spotted some whales. Oh, I spotted the whale. So 
though, a couple minutes ago, Matt spotted two orcas on the side, opposite side of where right. everybody was. He was the one to like. He was the one to spot them. And they were like, that was the best view of whale view. Well, I mean, I know how to spot whales. So. Right. so we saw them for a couple minutes and then they dove under. And she said the dives last from six to nine minutes. So it's about the time that they should be back up. So we're just trying to. So like, Matt, the whale watchers on yeah, high alert. <laughs> so, some cool facts we're learning about killer whales is that they're extremely emotional. We still don't know so much about their like linguistics and how they communicate, but the part of their brain that's capable of like emotional feelings is bigger than, like, bigger per capita than what a human's brain is. So, that just tells you how like emotional the creatures, how like their right. bonds are very strong. They can communicate across long distances, even if they're mile, like a mile apart, they can still communicate. Yeah, they just pull out their cell phone. <laughs> their shell phone. Shell phone? <laughs> but they're also very, very intelligent. Yeah. So another thing she said is that, I guess some of the orcas in the area, they've observed that these orcas are so smart that, that, they, that they learn and adapt so well. So they found on, I think, sharks. They were hunting sharks, I oh, think yeah. she said. And they found on the sharks, that underneath a certain fin um, is where the liver is, and that's right. the most nutrient dense part of the shark. What they started doing is instead of spending the energy to like eat, pull apart the whole shark and like eat it all, they would literally just get to that one part of the liver and they would leave the rest of the shark. Right. Because it's worth their energy expenditure. Right. Um, whereas like other whales will just like eat and it all. And right, that's crazy. <laughs> Okay, what'd you guys think? Hey, we did it, we survived. Lady asked me, oh, I got my blanket. Was it really that cold? The answer is yes. Then she asked me, was it worth, worth it? And I, I hesitated. Here's my synopsis of it. We did it. I'm glad we did it. We'll never do it again. Not in a rude way. Not just, it's like you did it. The suffering was done, we, we saw it. It was great. If it was warmer, I would probably do it again. I would never I, do it again. I almost feel like sick from how cold I was. Yeah. Here's what I will say. I don't want to tell people to or not to do it. Here's what I will say. Do not do the eight hour. Do Period. not. Yeah. Dress no. warm. Very, Dress very warm. You know, I saw they had plugs on there. Bro, we should have brought the it, heated blanket. But, but, but I do want everybody <laughs> to understand who we were. We spent 20 minutes at the Eiffel Tower. Like, we're not like, yeah. you know, we're not like soaking in the nature. Right. <laughs> like, I saw a whale, all right. right. We can head back now. Well, and truthfully too, like this is right now, April. I was looking on a chart, it's like the time of year where it's like way more likely than the horse thieves. I know. Whales. Truthfully, if we, and we did, we saw if, But like, listen, if we hadn't seen the killer whales, was it worth it? Uh. Um, hey, do you guys want ice cream? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, now that we've warmed up after that whale watching tour, we are over here at Meadowbrook Swim and Tennis Club to play some pickleball. Matt wants to get beat again. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Call you in the middle of your workout, your warm up. You know, Jen's doing a lot of trash talking, and I've been trying to teach her the game, so... The game that you're also just new to. For those of you who don't know, I am a collegiate tennis player, even though I didn't go to college. Right. Uh, I don't even think you won at States in high school, did you? So, I want... I've always been short and stout, but I'm really good with a pad or a racket. Senior year, I went undefeated. I won county, and I won districts, and I made it to state championships. Thank you. What happened at States? What happened at States? Uh, hey, there? state championship is a different level. <laughs> so we were here, what, yesterday? Or no, two, two days, days ago. ago. You didn't play yesterday. That's right. I was very sore. 
So the courts are actually really nice. They this is a whole those are all pickleball courts. Those are all pickleball courts. Those are tennis courts that they that they've made into makeshift pickleball courts and then they got tennis and a pool and everything. So it's nice. Jen likes to do a lot of trash talking with her mother. <laughs> with her mother. <laughs> so unfortunately until Jen apologizes on camera, this is not gonna be a good vlog. Jeez. Let's go. <laughs> So extra. Serve it up. <laughs> so extra. Someone's salty about losing the last one. Okay. The game's pickleball. Would you like to serve first or second? Good luck. Hmm. So Jen's hey. up first with the first serve. What happens if you win? I, I get enough satisfaction. Okay, you know what happens when I win. 10 4. What happens? She apologizes. To everybody who's watching. Oh. Bill's all like, what happened? <laughs> Three, two, one. Good. Rough to a great start. <laughs> one, zero, one. Oh! oh. Okay. A great start. Did you need to practice more? <laughs> Better be careful, he's gonna come back with a vengeance. Yeah. Say it. Okay, ball's back in your court. Three, five, one. Jen's playing really good today. She is, yeah. Still no excuses. That's how yeah. Ten six two now. So yeah, Jen could win with this point right here. Oh, 
fun fact that you're about to see is worth the admission to watching the video. Because <laughs> I don't even want to say I'm about to lose. Jen's about to win, and there is a difference. It's the same thing, right? It's not the same thing. When somebody loses, it's because they're failing. All right. When somebody wins, it's because they're playing well. All right. And Jen's winning. So we're about to see something on camera. You might have spoke too soon. She's letting the pressure get to her. So this is point for you. Second Our game serve, point. Though. Yep, a second serve. I'm gonna be arrogant, which normally I would be, but it's actually really frustrating because she deserved to win that game. Like she played really, really good. She did. Come on, mother. Good game. Good game. Good game. No, don't pull it in. I'm not. <laughs> no. Come on. Good game. You played. Ex you did extremely well. So me and Jen just played another game. And I want you guys to see her down there. Hang on. We don't have a good zoom. But she's really upset. Because she had me 10 to 5 and I came back to win again. And she's all like really upset. <laughs> <laughs> but what she doesn't understand is I do love that. Right. Like the passion. You know what I'm saying? So Jen, hopefully you're watching this. Once you cool off some, like look at it, bro. All right, she's mad. Describe what you're seeing. Just fire. Fire! <laughs> it's, it's the love of the game. So, so Will, what do you want to say to Jen? That we love you. Yes. Really and we love your power and your yeah. fire. Yeah. And sure, sure enough, next time we're all together, you guys keep practicing, she's going to whip my butt. I know. But today... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Don't watch this. 